Texas voted the best state for business again, according to a survey of CEOs in Chief Executive Magazine. It's a perennial top performer in CNBC's own best states rankings. Joining us now is Texas Governor Greg Abbott. Uh, Abbott, Governor, that's 11 uh, straight years. And uh, one thing that I think of note to point out this time, uh, I hear that, oh, yeah, well, Texas is all because of the energy industry, oil and gas. Of course, they, they do well. And I would say that, you know, being number one this year proves it's not just oil and gas. In you're, well, you're exactly right. First, we're so very proud to be ranked number one uh, for 11 years in a row. And I think I can capture the answer uh, to the question that you're raising, uh, because a couple of weeks ago, uh, I was working with one of the top executives from Amazon, uh, where we were opening up uh, a new fulfillment facility uh, just north of San Antonio, Texas. Uh, this is the size of about 59 football fields uh, that involves all kinds of robotics. And I asked that executive, I said, why is it that y'all are coming to Texas? and opening up all of these facilities. Uh, and his answer, I thought, would be, well, because we have low taxes and reasonable regulations. But that's not what he said. Very quickly, he said, the reason why we are expanding business in Texas is because of the quality of the workforce. And so we have not only low taxes and less regulations, we have top quality workforce uh, that meets the needs of these growing business sectors. And so I think Texas is poised uh, to continue to be number one because we are less dependent on the oil and gas industry than we have been traditionally. Since the recession began in December 2007, uh, Texas has created 1.2 million uh, net jobs. The rest of the country, 49 states combined, 700,000. So any of the positive jobs numbers that we see, uh, a majority, more than a majority, um, comes from Texas. So uh, to, to recapitulate your fact, uh, were it not for Texas, the United States of America would be a net job loser uh, ever since 2007. Right. And again, again, the, the reason is because we have such a great business environment. We have so many companies that are choosing to relocate to Texas from other states. And, Joe, we've been really focused on bringing in investment from outside of the United States, uh, increasing foreign direct investment into our state. Governor, we, we constantly have these arguments that are never, never settled with, with people on Squawk Box about whether these old ideas of low regulation, low taxes, whether, whether pro-growth policies actually work. And they've got a pat answer, and that is that we've tried that in the past, and that's what resulted in the financial crisis of 2008. We keep hearing that from, from progressives. And, and um, I, I always try to think of if we could find a microcosm, something that you could extrapolate to the entire nation, Look at, look at the individual states and how that, that's where you have an actual test tube, an actual experiment in progress to see what's happening. But um, usually they just write it off to, to oil and gas, as I said. What, one thing I'll tell you, Richard Fisher, the, the great Richard Fisher, the, the, he's a Democrat. And whenever he talks about Texas, he says the same things. And he says it's, regula it's low regulation, low taxes. It's not just oil and gas. It's tort reform. It's, it's all the things that you just, you just mentioned. But I don't know why. You know, we're going to argue about what the real reason is. Well, it, it, it's the combination of all those reasons, and, and let's contrast it because, uh, as you all talk about every single day, uh, we, we seem to have this uh, job growth malaise. Uh, we've not had the economic upturn that the United States of America should have, and there are three reasons for it. Uh, one is because the heavy hand of Obamacare, two is because of Dodd-Frank, and three is because of the EPA. And, and I, I, can, I know for a fact, in the state of Texas even, uh, those three regulatory regimes are, are putting a lid on economic expansion. Uh, what Texas works on is trying to uh, reduce regulations like that, speed up the permitting process, uh, and provide a hospitable uh, environment for businesses because we know one thing, and that is when businesses succeed in Texas, Texas will succeed. And so we work to empower businesses, allow them to make a profit, allow them to hire people, uh, and it's a win-win proposition. I, I, I couldn't, you know, that, that's the one thing, you know, love or hate the private sector versus government, to, to, to pay for government, you need the tax receipts coming from the employees that are employed by companies in the private sector. And, and that seems to be lost on half the population at this point. 
Well, and, and that's part of our math. Joe, this is something very important to point out, and, and that is we see tax receipts continue to skyrocket. Those are our sales tax receipts. Uh, it's important that you know that uh, while we are ranked number one, during this legislative session we're in right now, we're going to be cutting taxes uh, by about $4 billion, uh, allowing uh, businesses uh, and individuals uh, to keep more money in their pocket. So we're going to make Texas even more attractive. The Pat Rapp on Texas is that they're last in education or something. I know Andrew wants a question to what, take it. What, Joe, no, if no, I can... No, I got another if, token liberal oh, question. Okay, I'll, yeah, he's I'll got another there. token. Gotta, I'll come with the token liberal go, question. Well, we, know, we know. I see over there waving, so uh, go for it. Wait, I have not finish up on the, the education issue first. Uh, yeah, oh, 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 so it was. That was no, where you got I it. wasn't, but you asked see, the Watch question. my knee jerk. Watch it. It can. It, 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 it's amazing. I can do it, too. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Well, I'll give, go I'll, no, I'll give you the question. Go ahead. And it's actually a question, by the way, that you support, which is you always say that politicians should get out of the bedroom on the issue of gay I marriage. Do. I okay? do. I do. And in corporate America today, there's close to 400, 400 companies have signed a, a petition saying the Supreme Court should, should uh, allow uh, same-sex marriages. You, you disagree. Do you have companies coming to you, Governor, saying uh, that you should change your view on this? Well, uh, let me answer that question, but very quickly, let me answer the question that Joe's ra Joe raised and come back. Uh, Texas is not last in education. Texas ranks number two in the nation uh, for high school graduation, uh, and we are expanding our, our tremendous universities even more and plugging those universities into the workforce. Okay. Governor, we only have 30 seconds, so uh, if, if you want to answer the, Andrew's question, you better do it well, quickly. Yeah, and, and, and listen, uh, companies uh, that are looking for diverse workforces like Apple, for example, Apple is coming to... Texas and expanding operations tremendously because they, they like the type of quality work environment that we have. And so uh, they are satisfied with uh, the cultural environment in the state of Texas mm -hmm. and like it a whole lot. If you've spent any time in Austin, Texas, uh, yeah, you know Austin. that companies like Apple like Austin, Texas. All right. Great. Governor, we appreciate it. Uh, thanks for your time. Uh, and, um, and congratulations. And we'll keep having these conversations. They're great conversations. You know, right. and he was great. Uh, thank and you I'm for coming you. on, Governor. You're right. I'm